is anybody else like extremely, extremely nervous for tonight? Like, I, I don't know what it is about this series. Also, welcome back. I don't know what it is about this series, but it feels like there's a little bit more pressure on tonight. The crap, crap people, hold on. Where's the crap people button? Let's do this. Crap people, crap people. It feels like there is infinitely a lot more pressure on the Leafs this season because contracts are coming due for renewal with some of these gentlemen this offseason. They're they're ready for extensions. They can't they can't lose again. It can't be embarrassing again. I got the aisles and, and canes below me too. So if you ever watch me, if you ever see me look down, it's down there. Welcome. This is the series that I call one for 67. The goal here is to capture one Stanley Cup for the Toronto Maple Leafs, their first since 1967. And how this works is we pop into GM mode. And in GM mode, franchise mode, they call it now. Franchise mode, right? Yeah. Franchise mode, they call it now. Be a GM mode. They drop that name. We hop into franchise mode, and what we do is we do the GM duties. So we set the the owner mode. The owner will take care of the facilities and all that stuff, the washrooms and maintaining all that. The coaches set the lines. We have the coaches set the lines. We don't tinker with them. That is not our duty, but we can fire the coach. We can make trades. We do do the free agency, and we simulate all of the games. And that is how we get a true assessment of our talent as general manager, and you in the chat, who I call the crab people, crab people, crab people, who are my assistant, the AGMs. This is a good time, as always. We are here to have fun, but there is a lot of pain and a lot of heartbreak we've experienced over the years. And this year, hopefully, we experience some glory. So we're going to set it up from scratch, completely scratch. I got nothing set up for you right now. We're going to do it all together. We're going to do this from the very beginning. We're going to start with the rosters. How this has to work is we got to set up the rosters, not from now. We got to go back in time. We have to have our active roster set to October 20th. So right after, already, it's already set. So we're good. We're good to go. This is going to be our active roster. We got the little check there. After the season starts, EA updated all the rosters. We are good. Check mark. This is what we are starting with. Who said Robert said Jesse tweet? Hold on. Uh um I can I can kind of tweet. Hold on while I'm doing this. I will tweet. Can I just retweet what I said? I, when I said it's almost time. I'll say now it's time. Um, where's the link to this video? Robert, look what you're making me do in the middle of this thing. Oh, that's myself coming through in my ears. Here is the link. I'm gonna copy and paste this. Go back to Twitter. I'm just gonna paste the link. Tweet. Are you happy? It is up. All right. Rosters are set. Franchise mode is clicked. New franchise mode from scratch. Here we go. Let's bring out the let's bring out little panda. Panda's doing dancing. Giraffe's doing dancing. Authentic. We're going with the Toronto Maple Leafs, as you know. Bring them up here. GM name. Get Jesse in there. First and last. Uh, space. Capital. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me know your thoughts about tonight. Let me know your thoughts about this Isles and Canes game if you're watching it. Awful, awful start for the Islanders there. Like, talk about diving, Canes fans. A little bit of diving. Kuznetsov capitalizes on the dive. Islanders, Islanders come back, get a goal. Beautiful. You love to see it. I have the Islanders in my bracket if you can't tell. Um, so here, important settings we got going. Owner mode. Yeah, we want the budgets and everything. We want to be able to th the, them to fire us if we're not good. Auto owner mode. This is a key setting. So this setting is going to be on. This setting allows the CPU to control all aspects of owner mode for the user team. This includes finances, budget, upgrading, and maintaining facilities. Yeah, the owner handles the owner stuff. Everything else, auto staff management off, head coach edit lines on, GM firing, salary cap, fog of war off. Fog of war important. It's stupid. Don't let anybody convince you that far, fog of war is useful. Fog of war turns off the ability to see the ratings of any other player in the game that's not on your team unless they've been scouted by your scout team. Stupid. It's stupid. Don't let people tell you it's good. 
Um, everything else looks gravy. Are we ready? Oh, no. Let's check the rules and settings. Bump up that. No, not accessibility. We need the quick setting. Uh, the, the, can you guys hear the, the menu sounds? The menu sounds are ridiculous. Like, why are they so dramatic? Auto sign free agents off. Auto save. Yeah. Franchise leg. So what we're going to give us here is 10 years. 10 years is like when you hit like 15 and 20 and stuff, it's not worth it. 10 years is kind of a sweet spot where the players who are like in the league now, like Austin Matthews at the end of 10 years is guaranteed to like be retired. You know, he probably won't be playing past that length. And we're going to get some new guys in there, some prospects, and it'll be a little refresh. And 10 years is kind of the sweet spot. We can blast through 10 years, I think, through this through this length of the playoffs while we'll be live streaming before Adam and Steve's live stream. So, also I should mention while I set this up, if you're worried about getting over to Steve's stream, don't worry. We are going to be rating his stream. So, rating streams is a thing you can do on YouTube. So, we are live on YouTube and Twitch. Whatever your preferred platform is, we are live on both of them. And we're going to raid Steve's YouTube stream once... Uh, his goes live. So don't worry. If you want to catch that, I will port you right over there once we are, he is live. So we are good to go for Steve stream. All right. So we got everything, I think, in the settings here is good. Advanced settings. Does that include? Yeah. Okay. Uh, head coach, playable, auto rotate, sure. Sim engine scoring, medium. We're keeping it on medium. That's the fairest. Playoff series length. Everything's authentic. Coach Fire and pop up, sure. Trade offer notifications, yeah. Game tuning, yeah. Tired jerseys, awesome. Blockbuster trade, sure. You want to give me a an alert? There we go. I think this is it. I think we start the career. Is everybody ready? I think we're good to go. Hold on. What do, what do I got here? Air horns. There we go. All right, let's get Austin in here as well. Also, oh, the chat isn't on the screen. Great point. Hey, shout out uh, Carter2526. Let's see how we do this in real time. I'm usually pretty handy with this stuff. Chat box. Oh, look at that go. Ah! Thank you, Carter. Yo, shout out Carter one time. All right, everybody on Twitch who wants to be on the screen, tell the YouTube viewer something. You can just, you're on the screen right now. You have too much power. I'm scared. You have too much power. Just write your, we can all see what you're saying. All right. So we're going to, uh, I saw the, the bathrooms need repair. I don't know why I can handle that. I thought I had owner mode on. All right. <laughs> Vegas back to back. You love to see it. All right, so how we're going to do this is we got to take an evaluation of what we got. Toronto Maple Leafs, we know our roster. But how do we maximize this? What should Bradshaw Living, should, should, what should he have done? What should he have done with this roster? Let's take a look at our contracts. I think like, oh my gosh, I don't need tutorials. Okay, here we go. I think immediately, immediately, I say, you know what? John Tavares, you make a lot of money couple more years 87 overall maybe i package you out get something more useful tj brody 83 4.8 million dollars that's too much package you out get you something useful mark giordano can just have your spot who cares i think the first thing we do is make a tj brody trade we try and upgrade the d so let's take a look at our we're sending i think we send ryan reeves down all right first order of business how much is Reeves making? One point. Oh, in the game, one point two five, one point two four five. That's not even anything. First order of business. Let's see our salary cap. One point three seven five in salary cap space. Fraser Mittens up. We got a. Uh, we can't even. Oh, can we even make the? This is a list of contracts. So let's go to roster moves, edit lines. The lines are gonna be a little wonky for the preseason. Uh, nice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, head coach can help. Yeah. Nylander, Matthews, Marner. To, oh, my gosh. Nylander, Matthews, Marner is what the head coach wants. All right. I guess. I, head coach preferred lines. Yeah. Nylander, Matthews, Marner. 
Bertuzzi, Tavares, Kampf. Okay. Gregor, Yarncroke, Reeves, Minton, Domi, Nyes. These are awful lines. But we cannot fix them. That is not our job. Holy crap, I hate these lines. Who's scratched? Oh my gosh. Okay, so scratched. Jake McCabe, Simone Benoit. And that's it. Who's it? Where's... Where's Nikki Bob? Okay, okay. First things first, roster moves. Let's get Nikki Bob up on the on the roster. Where's this kid at? Ridiculous. Ridic what is this? What is this management here? He's 79, so it's not great. Oh, I'd be over the limit. Okay, so we got to send down Ryan. Yeah. We got to call up Nikki Bob. All right, so let's do that. Uh, yeah, two-way, one-way, sending down Reeves. All right, first piece of business ever. The first thing we've ever done. We sent down Ryan Reeves. We called up Nikki Bob. I think that's a tidy piece of work. What do you say? <laughs> McCabe low-key really good in all of my sims. That's something to keep in mind. Thank you, James. Nikki Bob is going to be on the fourth line. JT for Raymond. I think we go back to the well. We move JT for Raymond. We could totally do that. Time to fire the coach already. Warrior Womp, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. All right, so we got... We're a little weak on the bottom end. I had no idea EA Sports rates the Leafs bottom end so low also shout out um Connor O'Shea Connor O'Shea this confetti is for you classic Sheldon Keefe line mixing facts big facts so we got Nikki Bob up now we have freedom to trade Brody make a little cap space because we have a lot of depth in our defense so oh my gosh best NHL lines sure Please fix them. Okay, edit lines. Let's see. If we traded Brody... Oh, if we traded Brody... So right there, Jake McCabe would hop up lefty, and then we have Benoit, right? We have Geo and Benoit on lefty that are healthy scratched. And we, remember, this is the beginning of the season, so we got John Klingberg. That's amazing. Klingberg, Lilligren... Timmins should be our right side. Left side should be Geo, Benoit, Riley. And that le oh no, so we'd have we'd have Lilligren, Brody, Timmins. Yeah, we trade Timmins. And then on the left we have Riley, Geo, Benoit. Okay. Maybe we can even upgrade Brody somehow. I think so. We put that there. Let's Let's put that in the back of our mind. We can upgrade Brody. We can upgrade the bottom half of the four group. Let's sim over to the regular season. And then when waivers kick in on that eighth, we'll make sure that our lineup is set. Owner expectations. What's our owner goals? Owner goals. I want us to make the first round of the playoffs. Okay. All right. Pretty easy. MLSE is not going too tough on us this time. Um, I think that we compete. I want us to get 40 wins in the season. I want us to move to Tim Chemistry from 5 to 69. That's a nice number. That is Matthew's goals number. Oh, we're getting a trade. No. Kyle Davidson is trying to rip us off. Salary cap. So we got new owner goals. Now it's the third round of the playoffs. 44 wins. I wonder what the... At the start of the season, I wonder what our um, owner goals are actually going to be. Let's see. First round of the playoffs is back to that. Let's see. All right. Salary cap compliant. We'll be there. October 9th is waiver day. So one more day. That's why we sent down Ryan Reef so early. Let's finalize this roster for the regular season. Roster moves. I don't think there's anybody else we need to call up. Like, Nikki Bob is the only one I was really worried about in the organization that we need to call up who should be on the lineup. 
Uh, Minton, yeah, Lagason, like he's a two-way. Pontus Holmberg is so bad in the game. Bobby McMahon, a 73. No! So the downside about playing with the rosters from the beginning of the season is EA has Bobby McMahon at a 73. And that's why I'm so down on the Ford group right now. It's it's not <laughs> it's not up to date in the amount of skill that they played with throughout the season. So Bobby McMahon, who is in real life a very important piece of the Leafs lineup in the video game, sucks. We don't get to use Bobby McMahon because he's a 73 and is pretty useless. But we'll see if he is overall goes up during the season, if his potential is set pretty accurately by EA. We'll see how that goes. Matthew Nyes as well, 78. That's not great. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I don't think there's anybody else we need to call up. Let's head over to the regular season. Who else is on a one-way contract that no, like Nyes, nice two-way? I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go. I'm checking. the. It's still 1-1. Kane's Isles. They're in intermission now. That's going to be a tight series. Not enough people are giving the Islanders credit for being able to keep up with Carolina. All right. So let's do this. Game one. Let's see what the coach, Sheldon Keefe, has set the lines at. We're going to make some trades here after we evaluate... The team, after the first, let's say, month and a half of the season, we got to see how they're playing. This Nylander Matthews Marner line is just loaded up. Don't know what that is. Head coach preferred lines. This is what they're going with. Nylander Matthews Marner, Bertuzzi, JT, Kampf, Yarncroke, Gregor, Reeves, Domi, Nyes, Robertson. On defense, Riley Klingberg, Brody Lilligren, McCabe Timmins. In goal, Samsonoff Jones. Oh. Huh. What? I never checked the goalies. What is Joseph Wall's overall? Hey, shout out uh, Ryan DNG, who is now following. Appreciate it. Joseph Wall, 80. Okay. So we're good. He's a one-way contract, so it's good that we got him in the minors, not up, and we don't have to set him down because waivers are active right now. We got a lot of depth goalie goalies right now. Matt Murray, a 70 overall. Career is done. RIP Matt Murray. All right. We're simming the first month of the season. Seeing how this Leafs team fares. One month in. Can we win a Stanley Cup with this squad? Who knows? This is the Sweden trip right here. That's fun. All right, so we're going to swim, sim, swim, sim to December 1st. That's kind of the make or break date of first evaluation. The first real evaluation date of the NHL regular season is American Thanksgiving. So we're going to go to December 1st. We're going to evaluate our team, see what the stats, see where we are in the standings, see if we need to make any moves. Let's get going. Let's sim. Let's do it. I wonder if I got I got good sim music. Yeah. Sim music. Luke Shen for Nyes and Kressler. No. Alright, we're simming. Oh, Brett Kulak! Hold on, pause the sim music! 80 overall defenseman just for nothing. Are we losing Kling the present day? Shout out present day. Welcome. Who says, are we losing Klingberg after Sweden? No. The rules here are our reality. Our reality exists in this world. It started on September like 28th. And everything past there doesn't have to mirror real life. It is now our new world. And Klingberg in our world has a healthy back. So we will not be losing Klingberg. He will be sticking around. Brett Kulak is a Toronto Maple Leaf. How do I claim him? 80 overall defenseman claim. Hell yeah. Free Brett Kulak. There we go. 
Uh, no, I don't want to trade these guys. So we got a free Brett Kulak. Oh, we'll see music. Sweden trip, how we doing? Decline trade. I got to take Fraser Mitten like off the trade block or something. Everybody thinks he's available. We're nine and seven. Ten and seven. That's decent. No, decline. Not trading Fraser Mitten. I got like these GMs need to learn. Oh, Tyler Bertuzzi. Pause the, pause the sim music. Tyler Bertuzzi. Uh, right now, this... Okay, so, me talking about how, like, this doesn't have to mirror reality. This is pretty much mirroring reality. Right now, I don't think I'm performing to the best of my abilities. Yeah, Tyler, I agree. But I'm going to instead persuade. Um, although you haven't been performing, I'm confident in your abilities and know that you'll get out of it. Yes, you will, Mr. Bertuzzi. Um, this is very much like reality. Hey, plus five on the morale. Hell yeah. Let's go. All right. We have completed the sim. December 1st, we are 14 and 7. Not the happiest with that. Let's go to the standings. Let's take a look, see. In the Atlantic. Oh, that makes that gives us second in the Atlantic. Oh my goodness. So we're in a playoff spot. They don't have a wild card. Can you believe this? Can, can let me let me let me be upset for a second. Can you believe this? Electronic arts. You know how many years the the NHL has had this division format? where you get like the wild card teams and they don't have a setup where they show you the wild card teams. Like it's not an option to look and see. You just got to go by division and do the calculations yourself. So I'll go to Eastern conference and look and that's ridiculous. Oh, so they have the little stars here. The way they do it is they have the little stars, but just show me just a playoff setup with the wild cards, not the little stars. Anyways, we're second in the Atlantic. Um, that's fun. Switch back. That's fun. Decent. Not great. Tampa all the way down there. Let's check the stats. See how the guys are playing. Willie leads us in points. Marner, then Matthews. Matthews struggling a little with goal scoring. Eight goals in 21 games. Marner's matching his total. Eight goals in 18 games. I guess he was out with an injury for a little. Bertuzzi also out for a little. Head coach took care of those problems. But I don't have any extra forwards, so what did they do? <laughs> did they play defenseman? I think that must be our first piece of business. Is or like we've already had a couple pieces of business, or so or just that's something we need to do. Go get an extra forward, call up somebody, just so we have some depth for the head coach. Cause if we don't provide depth, they just play defenseman in the forward spot. So let's take a look at where are we going? Uh the line should be fine. Roster moves because Brett Kulak's in the minors right now. Oh, Marner's out with an injury. Let's check his injuries. Um, injury report. I assume they have a defenseman playing in a forward slot, which is trouble. So we're going to call up concussion returning December 2nd. So one day away. Like this whole time we could have done something about it and we just sent through it. So that's okay. So let's see what we got going on. Yeah, Jake McCabe is playing in a forward spot right now. So we are going to call up somebody right now. Roster knows. Who's the best forward in the system? Brett Kulak's injured. Uh, Fraser, let's call. Oh, hey, so look at that. The game did something good. Pontus Holmberg went from a 73 to a 78 in like a month. So we're going to call up Holmberg. Hey, let's go. So Holmberg's on the team. Best lines, AHL. Uh, now the coach is going to set up our NHL lines without a defenseman in the lineup. So let's do this. Uh, L3. Head coach preferred lines. There we go. Pontus Holmberg is now penciled in. Mitch Marner's out, and for some reason, Sheldon Keefe loves playing John Tavares on the wing. Hmm. That's not great, but 
We don't make the decisions around here. It's a plus four on line chemistry, so that's kind of fun. Holmberg has a right wing, yeah. Fire JT to the sun. Tavares for Corey Perry. Uh, <laughs> Kampf must have played on the first, second, and third lines. He's obviously good for the fourth. That's from Anthony. Present day says JT's still a leaf. Uh, I'm shocked, too, that we've gotten this far into the stream. About 20 minutes, and uh, JT's still on the team. Jamie Ben would make this team look very good. That's from Bit OFM. Jamie Ben, good player. Let's see how Holmberg does for a little bit in the lineup. He's probably not going to get a lot of run because Mitch Marner's back in one day for this Boston series. I'm happy with us right now. We're second in the Atlantic. Puts us in a comfy playoff spot. For, good for us for that the Atlantic is sucking so far this season. 14 and 7 at the time got us to second, which is very good. We're third. We've dropped down the third. The Canadians, the Montreal Canadians are having a decent season. They're up in second now. We've dropped down to third in the Atlantic. Let's see what we can do here. 19, 13, and 2. We need to get a little better. We are third in the Atlantic. Which puts us in a playoff spot, which is all right. Let's check the injuries. We're a month gone from where we last checked. We are now January 2nd. Injury report. Hopefully we are clear of injuries. Oh, Matthews just got injured. <sighs> we do not have injury luck at all with this team. All right, so Matthews is out. Holmberg's back in. Not great. Cheers, Jesse. Good luck to your Leafs. That's from Nate. Thank you, Nate. I appreciate you. And for that Matthews injury. Sad times. Sad, sad times. We should trade for Engvall. <laughs> uh Turn down the injury. So that is something we did in a previous stream. So that's somebody who's, like, aware of how EA works. Mr. Joe Peeps? Joe Peps? Um, yeah, injuries tend to be very f high and frequent in this game. I will take a look at the injury set settings uh, momentarily because that's a very good point. I feel like it's a little unfair if we change the injury settings mid-season. So we got to, like, no, we're, I got to remove all these assets. What are we doing here, guys? All right, so we got to add item. John Tavares. Yep. Trade asset. And then we got, who else are we moving? Brody. How valuable is Brody? Not great. All right, JT and Brody are up there. Fibro2, shout out you for following. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, so let's take a look. See, I think it's upgrading Brody. We have all of our picks. Let me see our draft picks. We have our first round. Oh, so we have the actual draft picks. Uh, 2025, we got no first round pick. 2026, we have first one. No seconds. If we package Brody with like a third, what are we trying to upgrade on? We want low salary, high potential. Uh, no, it's not this screen. Where is the screen? It's the fine. Oh, player search. Here we go. The player search tool is actually, like, super handy. I don't know how many of you guys, like, play NHL that much, but this is, like, actually something EA's done that's really good. So I can just isolate what I'm looking for. So I want guys who make not a lot of money, but have a high overall. So Brody's at four. 
So I want under that, so I'm upgrading on the salary cap. And I want that potential. So if I just sort like this, and I go like 25-ish range, I'll be able to sort by overall. Like Mo Cider, like there you go. And then I can just see. So David Juracek, that's it. Like Juracek, look at the trade value there. I think we can do this. I think. Oh, Owen Power too. Owen Power or David, even Sean Dursey. We want a left because Brody plays the left, but. Even Dur no, Dursey needs an extension. So I don't like that. I don't like having to do the extension. Uh, eight mil is the Owen Power. Eight is Jake Sanderson. Drysdale signed for three more years at 2.3. Maybe we could tr tr pry Drysdale away from the Ducks. Let's try. It's either your No, because your check. Three more years at the 0 0.92. Slavkovsky. We got some suggestions here. Slavkovsky. Slavkovsky might be a good one if we want to live. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go back. We're going to go back and get Slavkovsky after we try and upgrade the D. So who are we stealing from around the league? What GM are we poaching? It's either. I th it feels like it has to be Columbus with your check. You can play both sides. I feel like that has to be the first big name we're going after. The ability to play both sides, I'm like, whoo, really? Hmm. Even like if we did Klingberg, like it's just, it's a win. So if we package Klingberg, bunch of draft picks, I think it's a little early to send out the first round pick. Like we don't have... We don't have a first round pick next season, so we got to save that. But, like, this is a steal. We got some, we got some suggestions. It's, we got really good suggestions. We got somebody said, take your check. Uh, we got your check is a right D, lefty, get him. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Slaffer, Uyghur, Mackenzie Uyghur. Slaff was my idea. You're welcome. Thank you, Brayden. Thank you, Brayden. Appreciate that. Radko Gudis, no. No. No, we will not get Radko Gudis. I think it's your check right now. Rasmus risked the line in. Eh. 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 Let's check on, let's check on David Juracek. Klingberg to Juracek. Trade rejected. Uh-uh. What young assets are we doing here? That we're willing to part with to get Eurocheck in this. The oh, the Leafs farm is kind of barren. Like I'm uh, Niemo, Toppy. Is Toppy enough? How into the future can we do a draft pick that would get us Eurocheck? Like when's our next second? 2027 20, second, Toppy and Klingberg. No, that's not even good. I might be the first round pick. Do we do a first? Is your check worth a first and Klingberg? Because how long Klingberg signed for? Defenseman. Brody Klingberg's the one year deal. It was one year. Um, so we're if we trade Brody, we're freeing up the cap space for this season to go do stuff. Late first round picks, this is from Cameron. Late first round picks are like top nine potential guys. Yeah, so oh, so somebody said, I mean, your check was a top ten pick. So it's like we're we're moving. A first round pick for a top 10 pick and we're dumping Brody's salary. I don't hate it. Kane's just scored. Says Carter. I'm going to watch it. I'm on delay. Oh, no. Ah, that was Nason. Nice goal by Nason. Um, 
It's a tough one. Do we sell so early? Straight up? The first? Trade rejected. No, the first can't get us. I think we gotta we gotta reevaluate. We're gonna move down a little. Your check's value is a little too high. Your check's value is a little too high on the trade value. Unfortunately, I think your check is out. We're gonna move down to this, this tier. I think we gotta sit in this tier a little. I think I went a, a shot a little too high. Sean Dursey is more in our wheelhouse. Caden Gooley? Gooley is more in the wheelhouse of what we can do here. Lefty, trade for asset. I shot too high the first time. I'm going to be honest. I was a little too ambitious. I thought, oh, yeah, I could just steal it. No, the, the other GMs aren't just giving away players. Like, that's, that's for certain here. The Klingberg deal that I was trying to do, maybe we make it now the Brody deal. So Brody... And let's get those picks in there. Let's get that second that I was willing to give up way into the future. Remember, this is a 10-year GM mode. So at one point, maybe I'll need these uh, picks. But we're trying to win as soon as possible. Let's be honest here. Montreal wants these draft picks. A second. Gooley. Third. Brody. Trade. Oh, okay. All right. What do we think? We just moved a second. A third and TJ Brody for Caden Gooley. What do we think? I need do I hit the clap button or do I hit the booze? Do I hit the claps or the booze right now? Solid piece of work. I got a solid piece of work on the screen right there. I'm hitting the claps. Oh, no. Somebody said I got fleeced. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. 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 So, I'm I'm not upset at all. What if we just keep going after the Habs? We could easily keep going after the Habs. Team Tidy. Oh, we got a boo. Mid. Justin Robertson said Mid. <laughs> Um, a, a Cana Canadian cruelty, Canadian cruelty on the YouTube chat right now said, I think you could have gotten him for a lesser pick. Yes. I think I overshot that. Seeing where the bars are and like looking at it, I still think it's worth it, but I think I could have held back my second. Maybe it was two thirds. I got, I got little, I got a little jumpy. I got a little jumpy and we'll, we'll make up for that, but we got, we got Caden Gould now we're building for next season this isn't a one-year thing this isn't a two-year thing we got 10 years to win the stanley cup here we're gonna do, we're gonna do this we're gonna have a good season this year and we're gonna keep upgrading so now that we've moved out brody for Gooley, we're gonna try and move out klingberg for another young defenseman with term because next year we're gonna be laughing Oh. Hmm. Do we go pickpocket Lou in the aisles? I want a little higher overall. Like this, I think this area is, like I said, out of out of our wheelhouse. But hmm. We don't want Sandine back. Is it Sean? No, it's not Sean Dursey. He's not young enough. Who said go get Brock Faber before? Cam York. Cam York might be it. Let's let's hold off. We'll we'll hold off on the D. We'll hold off on the D. I'm 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 getting too antsy with the D. That's phrasing. Um, let's evaluate the lines. Let's see what the coach is doing with the defense. All right, so our defense now is Riley Klingberg, Gooley Lilligren, Geo Timmins. Don't hate that. Head coach preferred lines. Let's sim a little, and we'll do some work on the forward group. We'll, let's sim. Let's, let's take a step back. 
Let's breathe for a little. Trade Wool for Jack Campbell, please. I'm not doing that. It's ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. All right, let's play the sim music. Let's fim sim till March 1st. Where's the trade deadline? Um, It should be marked on the calendar. Oh, here it is. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. The little red line there. All right. So we're going to sim till March 1st, evaluate the team, see what we got to do ahead of the trade deadline. Let's get that. Oh, Matt, no, I don't want this. Let's get that sim music out. Oh, Brad Hunt. All right, pause. There we go. Brad Hunt. Uh, nah, we don't need Brad Hunt. Couple really good comments. Um, oh, somebody said claim. Who's saying claim? No, I don't want Brad Hunt. 35-year-old Brad Hunt. I'm not claiming Brad Hunt. Don't be ridiculous. Couple important, some, re some really good notes from the Twitch chat. We got to check contracts. Oh, hmm. See who's expiring. See what we can do there. Make some re-signings, hopefully. Let's pause that elevator music. Um, Kevin Ball? I don't know. I don't care for Kevin Ball. Top six potential. 78 overall. Free player. I guess I'll take him. 78? Mick Marley's really good. That's Cade Weber. Oh, look at his contract. Very good point. Where is the contract? Uh, tiers, one-way contract. So, oh, that's why he's on waivers right now. They're trying to send him down. I don't want that million dollars on the salary cap. Eh. We're getting a lot of yeses. Everybody? Okay. All right. This is where I concede to the AGMs. Crab people. Crab people. Crab people. If the crab, if the crab people are saying Kevin Ball's worth it, Check the facial hair, though, <laughs> says present day. Um, eh, I'm saying no. Oh, we're getting some no's. We're getting some pushbacks. 6'6", six, six, 230. That doesn't really help in the game, I don't think. I think I think we leave it because it's a one-way contract. One-way contract, we're leaving it. No, I don't want Kevin Ball. We're getting a lot of no's. We're getting a lot of no's now. <laughs> um, we're moving them out. All right, so... Am I don't okay, don't sim where am I simming to? Okay, don't okay, February. That was February. I was like, is it going to March? The trade finder. Trade finder, yes. Um it's a good way to evaluate the talent that we have. Let's go back to March 1st. Now I'm singing that elevator music. Hey! Vegas is sucking and fired their head coach. Damn. Lot of uh lot of interest in Matthew Nyes. We're not moving him though. Steven Comfer, no, we don't want that. No, 35, no, we don't want that. Alright, let's finish this sim here till March. No. Toppy, we're not moving them right now. Alright, here we go. Let's evaluate this team. Where are we sitting this day? Third in the Atlantic, just like real life. 35, 22, and 2. Toronto Maple Leafs, third in the Atlantic. We're only two points out of first place. We are a contender this year. We're going to go into the playoffs, hopefully. Looks like we got a good little competitive team. Injuries right now. Gooley, oh my gosh. Gooley's out. Tavares has a playable injury. So, Kate and Gooley, our acquisition about a month ago, is out. Let's take a look at the contracts and do some work there. It's still 2-1 in the Canes-Isles game. Huge goal by Nason there in the early third period. Let's see if the Islanders can muster up some sort of comeback. Willie needs that contract. Oh, baby, I forgot. All right, so offer contract extension, 10.9, seven years. I don't need to do this. It's a lot of money, Willie. 
How much can I get below that? 10.5, everybody? Everybody think Willie will take 10.5? I think 10.5 is pretty solid. We can afford that. It's William Nylander. Like, I think we need him. Samsonov also needs a contract. Yeah, for sure. 10.5 is too much. I don't want to lowball him. 10. 10. 10 is where I'm sitting. 10. 10 is what we're doing. That'll be the first offer. 10 by 7. I'm not... Re oh, no! Oh, sh crap. I usually... I don't swear on these. Um. <laughs> oh, crap. He's not interested in an extension. Eek. That sucks. Ah! Do we have to... Tr We're not trading Willie. Oh, Bertuzzi. That's awful. Um, Offer extension. No, these are awful prices. Oh, 5.5 for max? Are you kidding me? Why are we getting hosed? Oh, my goodness. We're losing everybody. Sammy, what do you want? 4.4. That's not bad. 2.1 for Martin Jones! Are you kidding me? What are these prices? How much does Lagason want? Allen! Allen! I'm not giving Lagason a one way contract. Oh my gosh. Okay, Bobby McMahon is a reasonable human. There you go. I don't even need Bobby McMahon. Jake Muzzin can't play hockey. Oh my gosh. We are absolutely boned on these contracts. <laughs> Shout out Grabo right now. <laughs> um, AHL. Um, <laughs> Who said EA added a uh, Toronto tax? That's funny. That's funny. Um, we're blowing up the team. We are legit. Oh, present day. No sweetheart deals for the Leafs. Is it that true? Holy cow. So we got we got to trade everybody. Like this is this is what we're doing for the next 40 minutes while we wait for Steve to hop on live. While we wait for Steve to hop on live, all of these UFAs are going. 40 minutes of getting rid of these greedy dudes. Bertuzzi, you're gone. We're getting assets for you. 85 overall, $5.6 million. Domi, 84 overall, $5.5 million. Geo, $4 million! Klingberg, five! Benoit, 1.4, that's not too bad. Noah Gregor, RFA, so like, I'm not worried about the RFAs. And Willie. Willie, we offered 10. Like, we are keeping Willie. Bertuzzi and Domi, I'm sorry. We're moving Bertuzzi and Domi. That's it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What do you want? What do you want for the... We're not... We're, we're doing this right? If I have a player on an expiring deal... No trades were found. Oh, my gosh. No trades found. Jeez, Louise. No trades found for Domi. I got a player on an expiring deal. And they're not coming back next season? I'm not own rentaling this. I'm not keeping you around. Ooh, Nick Paul. I'm moving. I'm moving off of you today. 
tomorrow, the next day, every single week. That's how I GM this. Goodness me. What? Are, so Domi's a center. We're going out. We're getting a center for Domi. Uh, so positions. Give me a forward player role. I want young. I want under contract. 25 and below. They don't make more than three mil. They're signed. <laughs> uh, fret level midnight. In a game, it's best to have no soul with trading. In real life, there are ethics. Exactly. No, We are the Vegas Golden Knights of video games. No morals. We're trying to win. I don't care. Domi, like, I love you. Ty is a gem. Ty is a saint. We, I'd rather have Brandon Hagel. Gabe Velarde. Uh, oh. Hmm. What do we got? Logan Cooley. Kirby Doc. Who are we taking? Who are we trading for Domi? Seth Jarvis? No, he's not. We don't have the extension. Only one year. I like, I like term. I like term. Okay, so let's... We're in the overall, so we want somewhere in this range. I want at least an 84. Two years, 3.4. Gabe Velarde, a centerman. Lucas Raymond. You know how much I love Lucas Raymond, but he needs a giant extension. I can't do that. All those are one-year... So all these guys are out because they're all one-year contracts. We can't do Bedard. Could never do that. So it's looking like Velarde... Morgan Frost. Morgan Frost is a good one. 24, $2.1 million, 84 overall, a center. I think Morgan Frost is it. Trade Willie for Raymond. I think Morgan Frost is it. I think that's what we're moving. Mason McTavish. Can we steal Mason McTavish? 21, two years. So let's let's try Morgan Frost. It's a little high on the value, though. Probably better off going... Is McTavish's little bar... Is his little bar smaller? Let me check. Let me check. Who comes up first? Uh, oh, Quentin Byfield. Gem. Um, Morgan Frost is first. Mason McTavish is down there. So we can go for McTavish. Younger. Uh, the potential isn't as good. Morgan Frost got higher potential. So he might average out. He's an 84 now. We're trying to win now. McTavish. Let's try McTavish. Let's try McTavish. Trade for asset. We're moving off Domi. That's the first tidy piece of business. We got to get rid of this contract. We got to sell on something. We'll package him out. We got to get younger. We got to preserve this cap space. I don't know. Like, it might take another future second way down the line to dump Domi, but I don't know. We got to maybe throw in a prospect. The picks aren't going to get it done. The third and the third. So I'm going to leave that there. Leave that with the third. There's another third. So let's try and get the prospect in there. The Leafs are so bare of prospects. Like, even if we moved off Conf, like, I don't even care. Nyes looks like... We can't move off Nyes. Yarn Crow can't do that. Toppy looks like he's got to go. Toppy is probably the prospect we're moving out. Oh, this is just... This is tough. We don't have anything. We don't have anything to sell on. Let's move off of this. Toppy and Domi. Where's Bertuzzi on the values? Oh, penalty on the Islanders. Who was that? Canes to the power play. I believe second best power play in the league. Oh, so Bertuzzi's worth more than Domi. 
but we're going after the center right now, so I want to move the center. So Toppy and Domi, McTavish, trade rejected. Okay, so this is, I think we're shooting too high again. We're shooting too high. 76ers are done. Edmonton? Palmieri slash someone is the penalty. I think they're looking to see if they're upgraded to a double minor. We shot too high with uh, McTavish, I believe. We're going to have to drop a little on the overall, on the trade value here. The one-year deals are killing me. Noah Cates is 82. The lack of assets in the Leafs right now to try and get any of these players. Chinnikov. Ooh. So if we did Chinnikov as a depth forward. Oh, I signed one year. There's us. There's Noah Gregor. Oh, now I'm too low. Oh, we can always do just potential. If we do potential... We get somebody super young, but now the trade value skyrocketed. Like, if we do Brad Lambert now. Ooh. Like, do we... Oh, maybe that's the move. Trade Nylander for assets. Use those assets to get depth. Maybe the move is, like, we get a guy like Brad Lambert. For Domi, who's not going to be playing with this team. Like, Domi's not here long term. No, I did, we could do Brad Lambert for draft picks. What is happening? He has elite potential. Could we get him for like a third? And a fourth? And a fifth? Oh, hey! We just got Brad Lambert. Let's go. Fourth and a fifth? A third and a fifth? Let's just go try and steal elite players who have low trade value right now. I think that was the only one. That was the only one. That was the outlier. Hey, well done. All right. Don't hate that. That's cool. Love that. Um, It doesn't really help our situation here. I think we got to move off of... I'm trying to move off of Bertuzzi. I don't know how, though. I don't know how to trade these guys. Let's see if I can find a package. So when I set up the Bertuzzi trade package... Uh, find trade. No trades found. Bertuzzi Domi trade package. Find trade. No trades found. Domi, fine trade, no trade found. Okay, Domi, draft pick, fifth round. Okay, so Nick Paul. Nick Paul is what we can get for Domi right now. 82 overall, center left wing. I think we do this. I think we do this. Six years remaining at $3.1 million, 82 overall. We do this deal every day of the week. It's a little bit extra salary, but the thing here is Domi's not coming back. The chat chat doesn't like it. Don't do it. We're getting in the on YouTube. <laughs> Tanking season question mark. I wouldn't do that trade. It's it's not about this season. Yeah, Domi wants that. It's not about this season. It's about the long term salary cap situation of just letting Domi walk because he wants $5.5 million. And I'm not doing that. That's ridiculous. That's You're not worth $5.5 million as a 84 overall. I'd rather have Nick Paul at an 82 locked up for six years at $3.1 million.
That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's that's what we got here. We're also upgrading to a fourth round pick. Let's see if I can get something better. Will they will they give us a third? Take Tampa's third. Can we get a second next year? Oh, somebody said, give me some money retained. Smart. Smart. Crab people, crab people. We're doing this deal. Like, they can't retain. 500K retained. I think we got to do this deal. Let's retain a mill. So they can't, they can only do 500K. Uh, it looks like. Oh, no, no. They can do a little bit more. How do we get up to? There we go. So 900. Oh, I'm on small camera. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, chat. Oh, where's some love? Thank you for telling me I'm on small camera. Thank you. Round of applause. I went a little far with that second round pick, but if we throw in a fourth, I want that second. That second makes this, this whole thing worth it. Like, are you kidding me? If we get a second? Trade rejected. Oh. They're not willing to retain. So the only thing... We're going to upgrade to this second. I'm telling you. The only thing holding us back was the retain. 500k retained. Let's try that. I'm removing some of these picks. I think we went too far with the picks. They're not comfortable. Okay, let's, let's. I'm not even like. Okay, screw the retain. That was a great idea. Shout out retain. But we're not retaining salary. We're getting a second round pick for a fifth and a fourth and Domi. Trade accepted. I like it. I like it. That's good stuff. We got a second round pick for a fourth and a fifth. We moved Domi, who we weren't resigning. Hell yeah. We got assets for somebody who we weren't bringing back. We got Nick Paul locked up forever. We're making this team future proof. We're doing we're doing things here. Now we got to try and move Bert. We can't do it. Bert and a second. No trades found. No tra it's impossible to move Tyler Bertuzzi. Holy crap. For fun. What could we get for John Tavares? No trades found. What could we get for William Nylander? No trades found. Logan E writes and donated $2. Hey, shout out Logan. Appreciate you. Logan, I'm, I'm going to give you Matthews. Little heart. There you go. Uh, Logan E says, would you sign Domi to 5.5 by seven in real life this year? I think in real life, that's too much for Domi. I, his role, his roles become really important on the Leafs. If like, he's just Matthews's winger forever. That's really important. I don't want another Hyman situation where Hyman goes and we're like, ah, Hyman would have been perfect. And we don't have Hyman. So I hope he can take like four. Five, even like 5.5 feels like a lot for something would be nice for something would be nice. Um, somebody said just force trade Bert to a team with cap space. I don't force trade. Um, we could probably move him for picks because it's a little sad here. Just having Bert walk. So try retaining. Great idea. Kane just scored an empty netter three. It'd be 3-1, right? Kane scored an empty netter. There it is. Just came up on my screen. There it is. The Canes take game one. 1-0 one -no in the series. These are our new lines. Nick Paul replaces Max Domi on the fourth line. 1-0 -oh, Carolina. Storm surge away. Well done. I'm just watching the empty netter here. Chipped in. That was a nice empty. So how much time we got left to the trade deadline? 
Let's see if Willie accepts that extension. That'll maybe change things. Let's sim to Boston. Uh oh. We gotta get 40 wins. We gotta make round one. We can do that. Hey! Okay! Willie's back! Let's go! <laughs> Willie is locked up. 10 mil. You like to see it? That's good. That's good. We got some assurances for next year. We're going to have William Nylander on this team. We got him cheaper than real life, which is crazy. Hell yeah. Some certainty with the contracts. So we got 20 minutes here till game time. We got 20 minutes here till Steve. We're going to be going again tomorrow night, by the way. Adam's going to be on live at... Uh, what time is the Vancouver Canucks? The game's at 10. So we're going to be kicking off at 11.30. Or, sorry, 11.30. 8.30. We're going to go for about 90 minutes again tomorrow night ahead of Adam's stream. So if you want to tune into that, that's when we're going to be back with episode number two. So what do we got left here? RFA, Lilligren, RFA. I'm not worried about the RFAs. We'll bring back Lilligren. No, like we'll just, we'll just, um, whatever the, th I forget the, what, why am I blanking on the word? Tender, tender him as an RFA come the off season. Um, and then we got these left. So Klingberg here needs to move 5.5 for an 84 overall defenseman. No, Klingberg is the next thing we got to work on. So let's try, because Bertuzzi might be impossible to move. I just clicked the wrong button. Klingberg might be impossible to move. So we're going to do... Or sorry, Klingberg. Bertuzzi might be impossible. I'm, I'm trying to watch the, the, end, the end of the game and talk at the same time, and I can't do that. So let's focus on moving Klingberg. Bertuzzi might be impossible to move. Let's see what we can do with Klingberg. Throw in some picks, maybe. I like that with that Nick Paul deal. Tampa came out of nowhere and was like, we can work with you. And then we kind of work through it. And we fleece them for a second. So Klingberg right now, we can't get any proposed trades. No one's coming at us for anything. So let's go look at players. Player search again. Let's go back. We got Caden Gooley earlier in the year. So let's go back and see if we can get any more of those defensemen we saw. You know, I like under 25 defensemen. We're going to sort by overall. I like the salaries super low. Like, even on this, like, I'll be willing to take somebody a little higher, like $5 million. I like potential. We're trying to be good for a long time here. Retain on the expiring deals is something we haven't tried yet, which is something we got to do right now. Great. Great comment. MW Thomas 10. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to get into our category here of... John Dursey. No, because that one year we've been through this. We've been through this. Cam York, I think, is a uh, Cam York is the idea. Ferravari. Cam York is the idea here. Like, this is the kind of player we want. Cheap. 83 overall. Cheap. Left defenseman, eh, we wanted right. Locked up for two years. This is going to give us a lot of freedom in free agency. We need to build around the edges because we have everybody locked up. I already passed Klingberg. Let's... We have everybody locked up, so we're going to need... We might be able to do this straight up. Like, straight up. Can I get Can I get a thumbs up? Straight up? Where is the snot? Cam York's got a little bit of snot. He's 5'11, but he plays bigger. No, go get Hronik. 
Will Steve be live on SCPN or his own channel? He'll be live right here. So I'm going to raid his stream. So once we're done here, it's going to kick you off right over to Steve's stream. FYI. That was a chat. That was a comment from the YouTube stream from 23 Plaster. Klingberg, Cam York, straight up. See if I can get a pick as well. Who's out for game one? Omar, out for game one. Willie? Oh, Willie's not playing. <sighs> Willie's out for game one, everybody. <laughs> we don't like that. We don't like that. We don't like that. We don't like that at all. Damn, that came out of nowhere. Like, literally nowhere. He was fine. He was fine, and all of a sudden, woke up one day, can't play. That's insane. We're going to try and upgrade a third to a second here. Uh, Cam Yard, Klingberg, trade rejected. Okay, so we can't do that. Uh, last time it took two picks, though. Maybe if we go third and fourth. No. So we're going to try and do... Get a third round. But they're willing to part with fourth round picks, but that's not good enough for us. Fifth, Chicago. A third. Can we get two thirds? The third and the fourth. Trade rejected. Let's remove that. Trade rejected. Oh! Maybe the trade straight up doesn't even work. Let's just try and take a fourth for free. Trade rejected. Okay. They don't want it straight up. Uh, a seven? That looks fair. You go, like, this is so fair. I'm upset. <laughs> okay. I kept adding draft picks. We did it. Okay, we did it. <laughs> was that good? <laughs> was that good? I don't know. I just kept adding draft picks, and they took all my draft picks. But we got Cam York for somebody uh, that we weren't going to resign. Like I said, we might be taking a step back. I don't know if I said this, but this is the plan now. We might be taking a little bit of a step back this year so that we can build for next year. We're upgrading for the long term. There's a process here. There is a process. This is going to work long term. Trust me. Trust me. Trade Sammy for another goal. Let's see the roster. Yeah, yeah. Let's bring up the back of Noir's right. Let's bring up the roster now that we've moved Klingberg. We've downgraded in terms of overall, but like... I feel like we're doing great with the salary cap situation. The expirings aren't gonna they aren't working. This is our this is our lineup right now. Willie Matthews Marner. Let's hold on. Let's there we go. Willie's Matthews Marner, Bertuzzi, Paul, Kampf, Yarncroke, Gregor, Reeves, Nyes, Robertson, Holmberg. On the we got an injury, right? That's that's with an injury. Scratched. No, no. Just uh, Benoit and Geo. Just scratched. Okay. On defense, Riley Lilligren, Cam York, Connor Timmons, Caden Gooley, Jake McCabe. What we're doing here is we're getting assurances. We need a top end defenseman. That's our that's one of our next that's one of our tasks for this offseason. Get a high end defenseman to play with Riley on the right side. That'll kick Connor Timmons back to a scratch. And then I'm happy with Cam York and Caden Gooley because Gooley's going to get better. He's 22 right now and 83 overall. He's going to be an 85. It's going to be good. Cam York's going to be our third pairing defenseman. Jake McCabe's going to be our third. And then we're going to... Oh, my gosh. We're perfect. Okay. So I have this. I have this. I have this because we're going to need this. We're going we're gonna to need this to build our lineup. This is next year's Leafs. It's going to be on the right D. Riley on the lefty unknown free agent Lily and McCabe this is going to be a Stanley Cup winning roster Cam York Caden Gooley no Gooley is going to be here oh hold on hold on Gooley 
and York. And then Scratch, uh, Free Agent. And, oh, Benoit. No, Benoit. We already have a Scratch. So Scratch, Benoit. Okay. So, next year. Next year. This is our defense. Right side, Riley. Gooley, who's going to be an 85. Cam York. Left side, Free Agent. Top defenseman, like an 85 overall that we're going to sign. 85, 86, 87, 88. Somewhere a top pairing defenseman. Right D to sign to play with Riley. No, lefty. I keep saying right D. Lefty. I messed up this. I said left. I did it backwards. This is right. This is left. There we go. Okay. I did it backwards. This is the left. This is the, this is the right. There we go. Free agent. Lilligren, McCabe. We're set. And then our scratches, we already got Benoit. Screw Geo. He can walk. That's it. Um, someone said, put Gooley on the second line. Otherwise, he won't develop. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. That's a coach task. We're not allowed to edit lines. That is a rule here in our GM mode sim. So it's a rule. We don't, we don't edit the lines. So, looking at our contract situation for next season. We're going to have to re-sign Lily. But that's okay. We have in cap space $15 million. So, we can go out and get somebody like decent with that money. Uh, the Bertuzzi spot. No, oh, now we need to figure out the four group. I got so hyped on the defense. Our defense is... We're going to be good on D next year. Forwards. Before, I'm doing all this because the trade deadline is like a week away and we need to solve this. We need to have some like some sort of path here. So John Tavares is out. He's injured right now. So he's in this Nick Paul spot. So up the middle next year, Matthews, Tavares, Paul, Gregor. Well, it's Nick Robertson's in the middle, whatever. Um, the game says he's center left wing. On the wing, we need... A, we need wingers is what we need. Yarn Croak, Nyes, Holmberg, Kampf. We need second line wingers. That is our goal. Second line wingers. Anything out there to get a second line winger. So um, let's find a trade here. We only got 10 minutes left till, till Steve. So I'm going to, we're going to chill here a little. We won't go too hard. I'm not going to sit. Next episode, tomorrow night, we'll kick off the trade deadline. That's what we'll do trade deadline, see if anything's there. We're going to sim to the playoffs, see if we do anything in the playoffs. But we won't go too far now that we only got a little bit of time remaining here. So our first round pick. What's out there for our first round pick? Ely Halabushkin! We could do that. Troy Stetcher, no. What we need, let me know if you spot anybody we really need. Jason Dickinson, no. Uh, Corey Perry, Tyler Johnson, Jeff Petrie, Gosses Bear, Hull. A whole bunch of garbage right now. Tyson, oh, bunch of X Leafs. Hull, Shen, Barry, all offered to us. Klingberg, Sean Walker. Klingberg back to the Leafs for a first round pick. Our first isn't getting anything. Anthony Duclair, Denton Heinen, Alec Martinez, a lot of defensemen. I got to switch our trade block and then we're back to the beginning. Let's go back to the forward group. We're going to play our search forwards. We're going to find out and see what we can do with our forward group. I'm trying to upgrade for the off season. <laughs> EA's answer to Mike Milbury. Somebody just called me. Get Olafson. Trust me. Interesting. All right. So we are uh, we got seven minutes now till Steve. I'm really conscious. I don't know how the rating's going to work. I'm very excited to see it. Drew's supposed to give me a heads up on how this is how this is going to work once he launches the stream for Steve. The fact that William Nylander hasn't missed a game in let's play some elevator music and let's chat crap people this one's for you crap people, crap people. 
excellent point made in the chat right now. Turn off the music. Sammy and Wool. Sammy and Wool. Shout out. Shout out you. Sammy and Wool. Sammy's a free agent, if I remember correctly. 86. So maybe that's what we need to solve here before we go. Because Sammy's a free agent at the end of this year. He needs a new contract. UFA. $3.4 million. 86 overall. Offer extension. $4.4 million. Oh! Oh! Let's do this! Everybody? $4.4 million? Bring back Sammy. We'll check Geo. That's a great point, Gerald Robson. Let's see if uh let's see if we can um move Geo. I think everybody, we might have we might have something here. Like, let's bring out the dancing snail. Four point four million dollars. Does he want an extent? Oh, he wants an extension. Yes. So we can offer him even less than this. $4 million. Sammy, six years is a little much. Three years. Uh, five years. Five years. Four, four years. Take him with 31, 86 overall. That's our goalie. Five years. $4 million. Offer extension. Multiply what Sammy is asking for by 0 0.9. Four years, or five years, $4 million offer. Hey, I think he likes it. I th th Oh my gosh, we're getting lucky here. Oh, 2.1 for our backup? He's 82 overall. We can do a free agent goalie for 82. Eh. Eh. That's so, like, eh. Oh, um, Wolves locked up. Hey. Hey, I'm glad we solved that before we went. Hell yeah. That was uh, excellent. Excellent work by all the AGMs in the chat. Crab people, crab people. I'm very happy we got that Sammy deal done. Let's see if we can sim a day and he'll accept it. And we can celebrate a Sammy extension. $4 million for five years would be pretty, pretty sweet. Send to the Buffalo Day. No, not doing that. Ticket sales need a... Yeah! Let's go! Oh, no, wrong button. There we go. That is so cheap. Wow. Wow. Hell yeah. Huge W. Um, we are going to be set up for in the future perfectly in goal. Very happy with that. On our list, Geo. Let's find a trade for Geo. Uh, Bertuzzi. On the list, very important. So it looks like we can't move Bertuzzi in any way. It might be a salary cap dump, draft pick dump, maybe. Let's see if Geo, if anybody wants anything. Oh, seven trades. Okay. Draft picks. Okay. So best set of draft picks. We have our fourth and a seventh. Fourth and seventh from a number of teams. We got fourth and sevens from Carolina, Edmonton, Islanders, Rangers. Oh, but it's the Stars pick. So Stars, Islanders, Edmonton, Carolina. Stars, I ah, eh, it's not even worth it. Like, do we want those picks? Let's, let's package Geo with a fifth. Christian Fisher. Trennan, Brandon Tanev. How? Ooh. That's just the fifth. That is, that's not even Geo. Oops, 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 oops. Uh, player info. Brandon Tanev. 82 overall for $3.5 million. 
for Brandon to that's that's not bad. That's not bad. Can we? So I I for, I didn't set it with Geo. So let's see Geo and a fifth. So Geo there plus a fifth round pick. What does that get us now? A third and a fourth. Okay. Now we're getting thirds and fourths. Geo and a third. Oh, he's already set. No trades found. No trades found for a Geo and a third. We can get we can just go take Brandon Tanner for a fifth. Is anybody like opposed to that? No trades found. Now I'm like, what else can we get for just picks? These future picks don't get really anything, really. So, fifth. Geo in the fifth is a third and a fourth. Brandon Tanev. Tanev is better than a three. Take Tanev. Two years on the contract. 3.5 for a fourth liner. Yeah, so uh, John Dune says 3.5 for a fourth liner doesn't doesn't really work. Yeah, the way we're trying to build this is we're doing like low salaries. We're trying to have all of the cast space in the world because we have Matthews and we hopefully can retain Marner past next season. Willie is locked up for 10 million. John Tavares is still a lot. So we're trying to do low salaries and Tanev at $3.5 million. I don't know if that works. Geo in the first. Um, I want to go back to our forward groups, young forwards, and the Bertuzzi thing. Now that we have a second, what can we throw in there with Bert? Keep my eye on the game. It's 8 o'clock now. I don't think Steve's live yet. I haven't gotten a text yet. Oh! We are live? Over on Steve's channel. That's it. Okay, so 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 hold on. Let me see if this works. So eh. I'm gonna sign off here. I'm gonna kick you all over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick you all over there. Don't leave here. I wanna see if this works. So I'm by. I'm 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 signing off. I'm gonna be back here tomorrow at 8:30 ahead of Adam's stream. I wanna see if this if I end this, are you gonna all get ported over over there? All right, good night. Thank you for being here. Come in anywhere in the world. We're supposed to be here right now, and I appreciate you for that. This was. Ooh,